Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is a what's in my bag video with my Birkin 30 in the gold togo with the palladium hardware. I know that many of you have been waiting for this video. I do have my 7RP insert in as well. If you missed that video where I unboxed the 7RP and I did my first impressions, then I will link it up above so that you can go back and check that out. So this is packed to the brim. As you can see, it's quite heavy. Just out of curiosity's sake, I am just going to weigh this because I want to see when it's super, super packed, how much does it weigh? Oh my gosh. Oh no, I don't want to see this. Can you guys see down there? It is six pounds, 11 ounces. Ah, six pounds, 11 ounces. That's insanity. You guys know I don't like to do bags that are more than two pounds maximum when they're empty um so that when they get filled up they're not too too heavy for me but yeah i would never carry it like this but i wanted to show what could actually fit and i was also testing out to see if i use this as a travel bag how it would work out i, I will be traveling soon in a couple of weeks i'll be getting on a plane to go see my girlfriend so Let's just open this up and get started. You can see here, because I don't like to close this all the way as it's quite cumbersome to get in and out of, I've been using my scarf as sort of like a quasi top closure for a little bit more security. So here's the first item. And this is my beautiful Hermes shawl. It's the silk cashmere blend. It's gorgeous. I won't be able to get it all in the camera shot, but it is this beautiful horse. And let me see which way is it. It's kind of like a, a paint by numbers kind of look. Here, I'll show you the face. Can you see it? It's so beautiful. It's black and then gold. And my last video, I did my Hermes sale experience. Oh my gosh, it was a wild experience. And if you watch that video, you'll know that I waited a super long time, probably the longest time I've ever waited on any kind of line. And I won't spoil it if you missed it. Um, I'll link it up above in case you want to go watch it. <laughs> I really appreciate all the kind, supportive comments and the hilarious comments from you guys. Because, I mean, you just have to laugh at the insanity of what I did that day. Um, but as you can see, I have this gorgeous scarf that I love, which is why I did not pick up any new scarves at the sale. I have two of these kinds and I also have a full cashmere one. By the way, if you're interested in me doing like a um, how to style the scarves and shawls type of video, I know a couple of you asked for that. If there's enough interest, I will follow up with a video dedicated to that topic. And then here's what it looks like on the inside. Oh, Okay, so here is my Hermes Ulysses notebook and it could be used as an agenda, but I'm using it as a notebook because I got the blank pages. So I'm using it sort of like as a journal and it's beautiful. It's the matching gold Togo leather and it has the gorgeous soft raw leather on the inside. Yeah, it's really nice and it's refillable so you can actually snap the notebook out and then refill it once you use it up. So I did unbox this in that recent video where I showed my 7RP insert with my first impressions. So if you go back to that video, you'll see this in more detail. Then let's see inside here, what have I got? Here I've got the latest book that I'm reading. You guys know I'm a bookworm. The Dream Seller Collected, it's actually uh, turned into a Netflix series or a movie actually, it's a movie which is already out but I don't wanna spoil, I'm not through the book yet. I'm now only up to here. So, so far so good. Once I finish it, I will watch the movie. It's from the library actually. I try to get the books from the library as much as possible um, unless it's a brand new release and then I'll buy it from the bookstore. So here is my trusty mini pochette with my little bits and bobs. Currently I have, this is from my last flight, I have a sanitizing wipe. I've got a few extra cards in here. I always have some band-aids because I've got kids and who knows when they're gonna get boo-boos. I've got a little hair tie. Um, a pen, always to ha have to have a pen, especially when traveling, filling out paperwork. Here is my little travel size perfume, the Baccarat Rouge 540. It is my favorite now. You see how fast it's going down. I got the set of three travel size and then my husband got me the full size bottle as a gift recently. So very happy about that. Here's my absolute favorite hand lotion. This is from L'Occitane. Love this 
scent. It's the Honey Harvest. So good. Then I've got my Burt's Bees lip balm in here at the bottom. Got that from Whole Foods. Let's see, do I have anything else? And then just some uh, allergy tabs for my kid. My son has a peanut allergy, so just in case. And then this is just um, a little eyelash brush because recently I've been getting back into getting lash extensions because it saves me time. I don't have to put mascara on in the morning. So there's my mini pochette. And I am also lately using my Chanel mini O case as a wallet. So in here, you've got my cards cash. I've got a little lippy in here as well. This is from Sugar, um, it's from Fresh and the color is Sugar Rose. It's really hydrating and it's a nice little tint. So, and it's tiny, so it goes easily in here, slips right in. So that's my wallet. And then I have got this one, which I recently unboxed. This is very heavy, my Hermes Bastia in this beautiful rose color. And then the inside is gold. So it's got the two different uh, tones and it's packed with coins. I don't like to travel with coins, but um, might come in handy. So I threw that in there as well. And then I have my Gucci sunglasses, which I've been loving. I got these recently, I did the unboxing. And yeah, they're really, really classic, simple, easy. They have the nose pads, so they sit up high on me. They don't touch my cheeks because I don't really have much of a nose bridge um, with my Asian face structure. And then what do we have? Oh, I have my snack. Always have to have a snack. This is so good from Trader Joe's. It is dark chocolate and granola, and it's like the perfect size. It's not too big. So this is a good one. And then I've got my Louis Vuitton coin purse. This is the 2019 Christmas animation with Vivian in Venice. And in here I've got my old school earbuds. I still like the old ones. So I would use that in flight. And then I've got my passport right here. And wow, look at this mess. <laughs> and then here is the 7RP insert. Oh, I almost forgot this one here. This is also a pretty new purchase. I've been using it uh, frequently now. So this is the Hermes lip balm and it has the tint to it. This is the uh, rose color in, what is this, number 30? I'll show you. These are all the items that I unboxed recently. So this is a magnetic case. It's refillable, so really nice. I love the packaging. Okay, now I think it's completely empty, is it? Yes, and I'm filming with my phone, but normally I would put my phone right in here, which is just in the bag. There's this nice size pocket, but this is the 7RP insert. I'm gonna remove it. And this is what it looks like, completely empty. And I think someone had asked me to weigh this, so I will do that, but this is what it looks like. It's in the beautiful Alcantara material, which is kind of like a luxurious micro suede or microfiber. It's got 10 different pockets. Now that I've used this, I will say, I, I do wish that the design was just a little bit different. Um, this is me being super picky. I do wish that they had put a couple larger pockets so they're all symmetri um, symmetrical right like they kind of mirror each other they're all the same size on each side but i wish that on one side there was like a longer pocket maybe over here to a larger pocket because in the smaller compartments there's not a whole lot that you can put although my passport fit in here and my lippy fit in here yeah i do wish that there was something a little bit longer or larger like the one built into the birkin that would be my one little adjustment. And then this is what it looks like from the side. So it does taper in at the top so that it will not press against the sides of the Birkin and therefore it will keep the integrity of the structure. Again, on this side as well, tapers in, which is really important. You don't want it to be you know, too tight or too snug when you put this inside the bag. So let me get my, my trusty this over here my trusty scale I'm gonna just scooch everything over I think that it would probably make the most sense to weigh this first so this is my Birkin empty I weighed this previously but just to show you again it's coming in at one pound 15.4 ounces at the moment so it is just shy of two pounds so it meets my cutoff yay okay and then 
this one here, which is pretty layered and pretty um, cushiony. So it's really high quality, but that's probably going to add a bit to the weight. So let's see. This is just the 7RP insert 30 size in the gold color. And that comes in, oh, that's pretty light, 4.9 ounces. So there you have it. This one was 4.9 ounces, and this one was just shy of 2 pounds. So altogether, it's going to be about hmm, ballpark 2 pounds, maybe 5 ounces, which is not bad for especially how much you can fit in here. So there you have it. That was my quick little what's in my bag. Keep in mind, in a recent Hermes unboxing video where I did show the 7RP and some of these goodies, um, that I showed here, I did hint at a giveaway and I am going to be doing that giveaway soon. I'm super close to reaching 20,000 subscribers here on my channel, which I cannot believe. I am so thankful, so just surprised that this has happened over the past two years since starting my channel. We're at, I think, 19.1 subscribers now. So we'll get to 20K. And once we reach 20K, I'm going to officially announce the giveaway and we'll kick that off. So please stay tuned for that. Also, let me know down below if you are interested in a styling video to see how I wear my scarves and my shawls, specifically my Hermes scarves and shawls, because like I said, there was one or two of you that asked me for that video. So if there's enough interest, I will do that. Okay. I hope you enjoyed. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And if you are new to my channel, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and join our community. Otherwise, I will see you next time. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.